Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from Your Destiny. I'm Eddie the Chump and today we're going to be talking about my reaction to the Destiny 2 public beta. Kind of a review of sorts. So first things first I want to say a big thank you to Activision as they gave me a code to play in the beta early. I actually haven't pre-ordered yet although I will. Obviously we're going to cover both the PS4 and PC versions on this channel but yeah a huge shout out to Activision for giving me the chance to play it. Okay the next thing I'm going to move on to is that I think it's important to remember when looking at the beta that it's a tech test more than a demo. I think that characterized is it better? I think a lot of people's expectations of what it was going to be, whether there were going to be leveling and looting system mechanics that we were going to get to play, have kind of influenced their opinion. And for some people that might provide disappointment, but for me personally, it certainly didn't. For me, the most important thing to play was the Crucible. And you can clearly tell that this beta is meant as a Crucible tech test. And if you look at it from that point of view, I don't think you could be disappointed really. Just a quick touchstone on the rest of the community's reaction actually. I see a lot of the big streamers, the big PvP guys, sort of singing its praises with a few reservations, you know, like they think Arc Strider, especially the super should be buffed, all that kind of stuff, but it's generally very positive. And I see some more of the community being like, I don't feel powerful enough, you know, when I pop a super, you only get one a game, grenades aren't as good, melees aren't as good, you know, maybe having one game mode that's 6v6 might be a good idea for this kind of game. However, throughout this review, you're going to tell what I really think about that. I'm really excited, so I think it's fair if I do look at it from their point of view or at least attempt to you've got to remember that this is coming from destiny one which is such a completely different game i think that's the hard part of evaluating it from a lot of people's perspective that might not be too happy is that it's such a sea change in terms of like tone and pace of the crucible i mean i bet there's a lot of you watching this now who have played it who might have been a tad surprised at how quick the game modes play that's one thing i didn't expect actually i have to be honest when bungie said that they were swapping from uh, 6v6 and 3v3 to 4 v4 only. I kind of expected the whole game to play a lot more tactically, a lot more slow, and it does in certain terms, but in other ways, you're always in a gunfight, there's always an opportunity to team shoot with your teammates, especially control. Control is the biggest sea change for me. I mean, Countdown's an entirely new mode, we'll get to that later, but the first part of it is going to be talking about control, because that's what I've played the most of, I think. When you play a game like this and you really want to test uh, gun interplay and meta and all that kind of stuff, what you want to do is get in as many engagement as you can to see how the game really plays. Playing an elimination game type can give you a different perspective of how the game actually functions. So for the most part of this video, I'll be talking about control. Now, I have to be honest, I've had a checkered history when it comes to Destiny. I've always found the gunfights really, really engaging, and I found all the different weapon archetypes really interesting to use and to master. But I have to be honest, for quite a while, I really wasn't happy with just how powerful grenades were, just how powerful abilities were. It's like those things were in the way of what could be a very fun shooter and it really does feel like Bungie have made Crucible almost seemingly for me. All the abilities, all the nades, all the supers are much more toned down. The 4v4 format and specifically made maps, that's a huge point actually. The fact that the maps play so much better. I don't think anyone would argue that the Crucible maps in Destiny 1 were a little bit lacking, especially for some modes. They didn't really suit it. You might end up playing Trials on a map that's terrible for Trials or you might play Control on a map that's just way too small for it and it just becomes ability spam and super spam and all that kind of stuff. The map that's in this beta, Endless Veil, vale, is clearly tailor-made for control. And what that leads to is way more of those gunfights that I loved so much about the first game. I think it's fair to say, though, that I'm not a typical user. I think a lot of Destiny players, quote-unquote, might find this adjustment a little bit difficult at first. Like, yes, it's true. You do only get one super a match, pretty much. And the grenades are definitely less powerful, unless you're playing Striker Titan. I'll make another video about that some other time. But this game really really does focus in on the gunfights and specifically it focuses in on team shooting which is the one piece of criticism I've seen from top level players that I can kind of understand. They're kind of used to being able to clutch out 1vx's, 1v2's, 1v3's, that sort of thing and that really isn't possible in this game. I mean it is, I've done it. I'm sure many of you have. You've killed two people at one time with a good nade placement or whatever but straight up gun on gun because of the time to kill that is actually a huge outplay. It's nowhere near as common and if people are talking about that in terms of how they don't feel powerful, I can kind of understand. But for me, it's such a huge change in direction. I think that's the most important thing to remember, is that we've gone from this complete spam fest to a way, 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 way stripped down version of Crucible, which I don't think anyone really imagined to even be possible. And it's a version that I find myself much more comfortable in. So my review of it is really favorable, actually. I'm having a lot of fun. I don't win every game. I don't do great every game. But when I die, it's generally 
purely because I got outgunned or took a stupid peek against multiple opponents. That's really important in a multiplayer game. Having that kind of punishment in the game for making a bad play is what provides players with a roadmap to getting better. Quite a lot of the time when I was playing Destiny 1, I was thinking I can work on my primary shot, I can work on my grenades, I can work on pressing melee button after taking someone's shield down, but I always felt it was a little bit random. Now obviously there are players who could control that randomness better than others, but the way the game plays in the beta now, if you're not a good player, I do think there are things you can focus on like game knowledge or your primary shot and you can steadily improve and that's a huge difference and one that I think is profoundly positive if I'm being honest. Now there are all sorts of videos I can make about the best setups and the best class. I play Striker in this build by the way, I'll go into the reasons why in another video and there's plenty more content coming. This first video was just touching base with what my initial thoughts were. So to summarize all that, the game is way more hardcore, way more punishing, but I really like that. I really, really enjoy this kind of game. And I think if people give it a chance, they'll see just how fun it can be. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you never want to miss another video of ours again, please click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad. You'll be in good company. Please check out our Twitter. It's where you can find out updates about new videos and other cool stuff. I've been Eddie the Chump, and until next time. Thank you.